I have never, now I'm going to tell you this, I have never in all of my call of God and being in ministry 50 years ever had a desire to, and I'm a very good pastor, but I've never had a desire just to be a church. I knew God revealed kingdom to me, and we have to be a kingdom people that know how to gather. Now, you can write that down. That is really what the church looks like. And if we are a kingdom people who know how to gather, we will be a kingdom people who know how to reign. All right? right? And that's what we're becoming right now. And yet, you have to have places to minister to people and have people and meet the needs of people. And because the prophetic is, its first role is comfort. And so you have to have, and a lot of the people who have great needs are the triumphant warriors for the future. So that's really the concept of the church within the kingdom. All right, now, let's look at this and then we'll move forward. So this is giving you an idea of really what's ahead for us. Now, this year that you want to look at It's why this is so important. If you look at the era, you're going to see the letter pay. This year is the letter bait. Bait can be superimposed in pay. So that what that means is this is the year to start building for the harvest. In this era... This is the year to start building for the harvest and having a house. This looks like more where you're at than where I'm at because, really, God has put you here in this incredible land that's been prayed for all these years, and I'm going to say this just prophetically, and now I think he's ready to take a lot of the prayers of those saints that have prayed about this land and prayed for the body so long, and bring it into a new wine skin. (laughs) Let's thank God for this whole place. So one of the words for this year is Bethel. That means the house of God. We return to the house of God. So that's part of what we're doing. And... What that really means is you just need to know where you're aligned into what portal. It doesn't mean we have to go to church all the time. Like we have known in our culture going to church. Uh, it, it is linked with house. The word also means son and it means covenant. So in other words, I'm building a house for my sons and daughters, so my covenant can be fully restored in a territory. All right? I see a lot of consolidation of splinter church groups into apostolic centers. I think that's important for us to see that. And yet, in a moment, I'm going to show you, show you really... The real type of what church looks like that will probably be the key to the harvest ahead. All right? So, this is what Zechariah prophesied about. Read the book of Zechariah. His first vision was he saw a plumb line come down. Well, you can't build without a plumb line. You'll build caddy wampus you'll have to tear down. You won't have the right order for building. So when a plumb line comes down, everything lines up with it, and that's what I believe is happening right now. We're having to realign everything we have been a part of with God's building plan for the future. That's hard for people. It's hard for people to die to something that was really good. It's hard for people to die to the glory of last year. Well, not last year. (laughs) There wasn't anything hard to die to that about. 
we're trying to recover from last year. Uh, so, this is what's so important. But one of the things the Lord started in my life when he pulled me as, when he pulled us aside in March 2020 was literally saying, um, I said, Lord, I don't even know how to live like this. I've, I've never even lived like this. It's been 40 years. And I love my family and I love my wife. And yet, I had, didn't have that way of life as a homebody. That is not who I am and never have been. So I had to some way say, you're going to have to do this. And you, the Lord had me build a fire. I wrote this book, Rekindle the Altar Fire. It's an excellent book. He had me build a fire in our backyard. On, He said, I want you to start in your backyard and work out. And he said, and until I show you your next piece, don't go any further. And he gave us liberty to do that. We couldn't go to work. We couldn't go hardly anywhere. And so, little by little, he started rebuilding all of what I was about over the last 50 years to bring it into today. Now, that is a process that a lot of people don't want to go through, to be quite honest. They want to just keep rocking along where they are. Can't do it. Now, so let me show you this. So this is how the Lord builds. You find an order in 1 Corinthians 12, Ephesians 4, and in Romans 12, Jesus is our cornerstone. Yeshua is our cornerstone. See, his name, Yeshua, what, the English name for him is Jesus. But Yeshua means shalom, peace. I will be the cornerstone to make you whole. That's how you think of the Lord in your life. I will become the cornerstone to make you whole. Robert and I are going to start a three-week series so we fully understand this. And then I'll add to it the gift of apostle. And I will add to that second, and it says it like this in the Word of God, prophets. I will add to that third, teachers. I will add to that want miracles and healers. Some of you are miracles and healers. You're miracle workers. I believe that is what is the same word that is used as evangelist, someone who is spreading the good news of what the Lord can do for you. And then, for to do that, I'll add pastors those, and you know, now I'm going to tell you, when you study the word pastor, three of its five characteristics are prophetic. Jehovah Rohi, Psalms 23, the pastoral psalm, as it's been taught, means I will cause you to see. And so, you have to understand part of the, prof the pastor's role is to teach economics, teach people to prosper, teach people to see. It's not to go around and rub on everybody. That isn't what being a pastor is. Uh, even though, you know, we want you to be comforted and we don't want you to get out of your boundaries. That's what a good pastor is about. They try to keep you in your boundaries so you prosper. All right? That defines the pastor. It's not how it's been defined in America by man. 